So I noticed this update available to VCSA. It shows right there in the VCSA um, vSphere client view, right there, view updates, and you go there and it brings up this. And uh, that's cool, right? Um, 23rd. Now if you look here in VAMI, you'll see I'm still at 0200 and a few minutes ago I tried updates. Let's try again. And there's nothing available. So it's a little bit weird. But you know, this stuff just came out hours ago, so not really surprising. Um, let's see if the release notes work. Yes, of course they do. There's the release notes. Today's date, August 24th. Uh, so what can we do? Well, can't do much yet, right? Um, I mean, I can't upload, sorry, I can download VCSA Appliance 7.0 update to C if I want, or I can just like wait till tomorrow and see if VAMI starts working. Cause it sure is convenient to be able to just, you know, do the usual VAMI update approach right here. Let's see backups here. So my daily backups are functional. So that's good. Go to page two here. Yep. Right up through today. So I still get this error sometimes, by the way, error method invocation. So when you just go to this page, it does a check. But if I do it a second time, immediately comes back with that. So go figure. Anyhow, what we're trying to do is get to 0040 up here and uh, I'll just have to get it, give it another go tomorrow. Now, if we click away from this tab and click back again, you get this swirl as it looks, and then you get this. Now, typically you see people talking about, well, there's no internet. Well, no, I checked the networking tab. Everything's fine there. And um, well, NS lookup commands work. Uh, let me show you. So yeah, and those lookups are working fine. So this shouldn't be happening. Another workaround I've seen is just to click on check for updates, check CD-ROM. That worked for me in the past. Now we're only a day po since the new update came out uh, yesterday. Uh, vSphere's uh, VCSA 7.0 update 2C came out yesterday. So maybe it's just a little early here, but here's the thing. I don't know. <laughs> I think the same, same thing happened to me the last update. I found a VMware employee posting this here saying try these steps. Now it gets a little uh, messed up there as far as formatting. So I've got the command pasted here and it's now going to be my clipboard and we're going to give that a try because, uh, well, why not? Okay, so it still doesn't fit on one line, um, but we can see it did something. 100% progress, so very quick. Now let's see what happens if we check updates. Still nothing. Click away, go back. So now we have a worse error. <laughs> That's pretty annoying. So it looks like I'm going to be faded with um, downloading the ISO and installing the VCSA update that way. But I do find this frustrating. Updates using the VAMI interface haven't been um, terribly reliable. So just being honest here, this is a fresh install of the VCSA appliance. It's fair to say I may have just, you know, torqued it up without an undo for what I just did. So again, a little frustrating. Now, if you snapshot or have a backup, uh, snapshots are no longer valid. So if you have a full backup of your VCSA appliance, this isn't a big deal. You could roll back to a prior version. Uh, resuming the video, another suggestion is to go into the vSphere client interface and actually click in this blue ribbon probably does the same thing. Let's give that a shot. Yeah, it does. It brings you right to the update updates tab, but we really want update planner here. Okay, you can see a swirly thing there. Let's see what happens with the pre-update check. So basically this is going to open VAMI, this button, once it's not grayed out. And um, someone's saying that actually worked for them. 
instead of launching the ME directly, they launched it from Update Planner and somehow that resolved the issue. I feel that's a pretty, uh, pretty much a long shot, but let's give it a try, because why not? Okay, it's healthy, yep. <laughs> okay, that's different. Let's just try checking updates again, see what happens. Nothing. Oh boy. Open Vami from here again. It's taking unusually long. Wow, none of that was confidence inspiring, but eventually it worked. So that was the workaround. In fact, skip everything else I just said and jump right to this. Open Vami from here, and it looks like you're good to go. Man, that's weird. This is a whole lot easier than downloading the ISO and answering a bunch of questions, frankly. So I'm glad this worked, but I think it's really odd that you can't just launch from VME directly. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to be opening a trouble ticket on this. This is just a lab test here. Uh, a lot happened in these last few minutes, right? Um, but hopefully someone goes through this and finds some nugget of uh, useful information in there as you watch me in my suffering <laughs> as I started this. Let's see uh, how it does, if it still checks for backups. Do we have daily backups working? I hope they do that. 141 minutes, yeah, it ain't gonna take that long. If we go to backups, delightfully, it still uh, does that. I do wish it showed the most recent ones on top. A little bit of product feedback there. But yes, I have done it. And now we just let her rip. So that should be it. Simply wait for the update to be complete. It's a good sign that the update is uh, downloading here. And um, yeah, why not just show you, this is my router, real-time stats. It's downloading at a decent speed of 560 megabits per second. So it's not gonna take very long for that RPM to come down. Okay, that's a little bit weird. It's been sitting at 60% for a while, so I'm gonna click on close and let's see what happens. Okay, VM is still up. Um, but notice it says 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, so. Some services or something are probably still starting, so. I'll try again in a few minutes. We'll see what happens. All right, it's quite a bit later. Give it another go. Nice. So it worked. So even though it said 60%, let's not worry about it. And let's see what happens if we do this a second time. Okay, I think we're good there too. All right, how about vSphere client? Let's see how that looks. Do a nice fresh login here, as you'd expect after a VCSA update. And we're good. It's doing some sort of a. Uh, Bunch of stuff there. All right. Learn more about these. Let's see if anything changed in Skyline. Oh. See right here, it's doing a health check. Um. So yeah, we have a successful update by simply 
starting Vami from vSphere client. Go figure. Um, okay. Need to keep an eye on that one. Let's go back to summary screen for VCSA itself. API endpoint. Yeah, not really sure what's up with that. Let's go to updates here. See what happens. Up to date. Running the latest vCenter. So we are done. Uh, I am done. <laughs> so that's it. That's a wrap for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Please consider at least liking the video. If not, even better, subscribing. That is greatly appreciated. It uh, really helps, thing, helps me out and um, helps get attention to this video for other people that might find it helpful as well. Thanks again. And thanks for visiting Tinkertry.com. Bye for now.